Hello everyone, Katarina here. We are on the last card in my Christmas card series. I still have about four stamp sets left that I bought for this series, but they have to wait until next year. For the last card so close to Christmas, I wanted to make something easy and simple and especially very quick to make. My thought process was like, if you get into one of those situations that you miscalculated how many cards you need and you need to make one at the last minute. I really like the results of the cards I made, especially when I'm not good at coloring or even doodling. I will show you two different cards today. You can actually see them on the screen already. So let's get started. I will be creating two different designs and I will be watercoloring a Christmas tree. And all you need to create these cards is some watercolors, watercolor cardstock. And if you are like me and don't have a good handwriting, I also picked up a stamp set with a sentiment. So the first design is probably the simplest card ever. I'm not sure if there is anything simpler and easier. All I did here, I dipped my brush into a watercolor and created a Christmas tree in one stroke, going from side to side. You can also go back in with the brush and add more color and it's super simple and quick. Let me show you one more card. For this one I picked a blue color and you can make this in so many different colors and end up with beautiful cards in almost no time. I thought I was finished with these two cards, but then I thought, let's see how those golden watercolors from Koretake work on a black cardstock. And I was really surprised, it worked very well, I made the color really saturated and didn't add too much water. Also, I went back and added additional layer of the color and it really pops, the gold really looks amazing. I let the cards to dry and then I die cut the panels using the stitch rectangular die from Create a Smile. To finish up the cards, I picked a sentiment stamp set from Clear Besotted. This is an older stamp set, but I really like the sentiment Happy Holidays. And I also wanted to add a star on top of the tree. You can paint it in with the golden colors. And I practiced coloring stars, but my stars weren't really good. And I already knew I have this stamp set. It's from W plus 9 and it's called Little Bits. I used my mini misty stamping tool, I placed both stamps on top of the panel, closed the door, inked it up with Versamark ink and I closed the door to stamp it. Then I realized that I didn't use the anti-static powder, for me this is a must, it's very humid where I live and the powder sticks everywhere and I forget this step quite often, I just don't show it in the videos. However, when I use the stamping tool where I have the stamps still in the place, I just add the powder and stamp again. Then I sprinkled it with the golden embossing powder from WOW and I used my heat tool to melt the powder. I did this on all three cards, I just had to reposition the star a bit so it's right on top of the tree. Next I adhered a double sided foam tape on the back of all the panels and then I adhered them on top of card bases. For the card bases I used a craft cardstock, I think it fits all the cards very nicely. For the next design I still wanted to do something simple and quick to make but I wanted to step it up a notch and I decided to watercolor a Christmas tree that is a little bit more realistic. Keep in mind I'm not really good at coloring, I cannot even doodle, so this is quite a challenge for me and it's very new to me, but I wanted to challenge myself. I picked three green colors. All the watercolors I used today are the Gonsai Tambi watercolors from Koretake and I colored two layers. First I went in with the lightest green and I used number seven brush, I think it's a run brush, this brush has a pointy tip which I really like. And the way I colored it, I just did short strokes and I went from top to the bottom creating a shape of a Christmas tree. Also on the side sometimes I flicked it out a bit and I left some white gaps as well. Next I used my acrylic block and I put all three colors on top of it and mixed it with water. 
And then I went back in and did again short strokes. I picked up the colors randomly and went from top to bottom. Believe me, this is super easy and simple and I think anybody could make it. But let me show you one more time how I call the tree on one more card. This time even for the first layer, I picked a color from the acrylic block and again I did short strokes from top to bottom. For the second layer, I not only picked the colors randomly, I put them also on the random places so the tree looks more dimensional or whatever the correct word for it is. I hope you know what I mean. I also changed the brush in the middle of the painting. I picked the number 4 brush, it just helped me to make the tree more bushy. I was watching few watercolor artists on YouTube and the last video I watched there was a lot of splatter. That's why I decided to do it here as well. I picked the golden watercolors and mixed them with water on an acrylic block and I used my brush to splatter it on the panels. I also used the green for the splatter. I didn't really wait until the trees were dry, which wasn't a really good idea. Especially on the right panel the golden colors were blending in with the tree. But I was able to go back in with the green color and cover it up. Anyways, I really like the splatter, I think it looks very really cool and it gives something special to the background. Then I let the panels to dry and once they were dry I used the stitch reckoning the dies again and die cut the panels. And then I stamped and heat embossed the sentiment. I used the same stamps and did the same as on the previous cards. But for the star I used a smaller stamp so it's not too overwhelming. I adhered the panels on top of the card bases using a foam tape. Again, I used a craft cardstock for the card bases. And as a last step, I used the Nouveau glitter drops in purple and red and I decorated the tree. I thought adding other colors of the Nouveau drops as well, but then I stuck with the purple and red. I think it looks way better. I put the cards aside somewhere I will not touch it or I will not put anything on top of it. And I let the Nuvo drops dry and then the cards were finished. I really like how both the designs came out and also it gave me an idea for my future projects where I want to try making something from scratch without using any stamps, well, except of the sentiments. Plus these cards are so easy to make, especially the first design. You can create probably 10 cards in two hours or less. 
If you have any ideas what other cards I could create from scratch, let me know in the comments below. Just keep in mind, I will have to first learn how to draw or color or paint them first. Anyways, I hope you like these cards as well. If you did, I would really appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up. This really helps my channel and also subscribe if you haven't done so already. You can follow me on Instagram and Pinterest and hop over to my blog for more inspiration. On the screen right now, you can watch full Christmas series from last year on the left and on the right, you can watch the series from this year. I will take a break for about a month or two. Making this series is always so exhausting and I definitely need some time off. I wish you very Merry Christmas and all the best in the new year. I hope it will be the greatest year you ever had. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next year in my next video. Bye!